Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back. Um, today, oh, well, sorry, this video, <laughs> not today. Um, this deal will be about the Math Quest 2012 MAB Math B Chapter 8 AD Question 8. Continue from you know Question 7. All right, so Question 8. Find the area between the pair of curved belows. All right, so over the in, over the given interval. Good. So we got a, we got two function and we're given an interval. Alright, and then we just um asked to find the area between them within this interval. Easy, alright? And um every graph, I I really hope you guys can um plot it first or either on your graphic calculator or on or on Desmos, alright? Have a look at the graph, see what they're talking about, then we can do it, uh then we start doing the things, alright? Okay, let me go to Desmos and plot the graph first. Alright, here's the graph. So let's go let's draw our domains on it. So it's from negative one, so from here, I believe, yeah, from here to one to here. So the area between the graphs. So it would be all this between the two graphs, right, I suppose. And this one. Alright. So we've got two sections. Section one, section two. Right? So the section one starts at, so we integrate starting at negative one to zero, yeah, because our point zero is here. So top minus bottom integrate with respect to x. Right. Oops. Um, all right, so this is section one. All right, so the top graph would be our parabola, y equal to x squared. And the bottom graph would be our cubic function. Okay, so let's go. So we x squared minus x cubed. Integrate with respect to x. All right, so I'm going to power through this because I know if I don't this will take a while because uh, my by now hopefully I'm not gonna miss any steps so I'm gonna you know get my full communication marks but hopefully by now you guys know what I'm doing all right pause me if you don't know jokes even if you pause well you can pause right you can pause me lit literally you can pause the video but you can't pause me <laughs> wait hold on you can as well okay let's stop thinking about that all right, <laughs> there's x cube of 3 minus x to the power of 4 to 4, negative 1 to 0. All right, so it would be that over that minus, oh, so it would be negative 1, hoo -hoo. negative 1 to the power of 4 over 4. Oh, no, 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 what am I doing? Haste makes waste, no good. It should be zero first. Yeah? Minus zero to the power of four. Minus negative one to the power of three over three. Minus uh, negative one to the power of four over four. The, the top bit is gone. The front bit is gone because it's zero is in there. So it's equal to negative one over three minus positive one over four. Right? All right, let's do our primary school math times uh, 4 times 4, and this one's equal to one times 3 over 4 times 3. So negative, negative 4 over 12 minus 3 over 12. Right? So that equal to um, literally negative. 7 <laughs> over 12. And the answer, the final answer would be uh, positive 7 over 12 for section 1. Right? Section 2. Still, but this time it's from 0 to 1. Right? Look at the graph. It's from 0 to 1. And then... The top function and bottom function doesn't really change. It's still the parabola on the top and it's still the x squared on the bottom. 
minus bottom. Okay, so it will be x square minus x cube. Right, just like before. And everything's the same. The integral, the integral will be the same as well. Oh. All right, and sub the numbers in. Now I'm not, I'm not going to do the zero bit, right? Because it's pointless. Is that we know that it's zero? Okay. You know we can we can do better than that. We can see that it's zero. Okay. So it's be one over three minus one over four. And we know what that is. Oh, we don't actually. And let's do it again. Right, it's just like that. Very easy. Four over twelve minus three over twelve give you one over twelve. Woohoo! And this is the area of the section two. So the total area is equal to seven over twelve. Plus 1 over 12, give you 8 over 12, or 2 over 3. Yeah? Just like that. Easy. Alright, let's head on to question 2. Alright, question B. Um, so, so sine and cosine graph. Great. Alright, so the domains from 0 to pi. So from 0 to pi would be these areas. Is area up to here? Yeah. All right. Let's go. So section two, section section one, and section two. All right. Let's go section one. Section one is from zero. Oh, I forgot this point here. All right. Let me fix my graph. I forgot this point here. I'll just go to decimals and just carry the number. <laughs> All right, this point is pi over 4. X coordinate, that is, the X coordinate. All right. So, very easy. So, it's from 0 to pi over 4. All right. So, top minus bottom. Integral with respect to X. All right. Which function is the top? Looks like the cos function is on the top. All right. So, we put 0 to pi over 4. Cos X minus sine x all right okay let's write it better cos x minus sine x the x so many x all right and that's nothing that we can do all right there's no Pythagorean identity here and uh, so let's integrate so integrate cos x we get negative sine x oh no 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 we get sin x sin x <laughs> Whew. and we did integrate um neg uh, sin x we get negative cos x right and then it's from zero to pi over four okay so negative negative becomes positive plus cos x 0 to pi over 4. Let's sub the values in. Alright, it would be sine pi over 4 plus cos pi over 4. Um, and then minus sine 0 plus cos 0. Alright, let's do the easy bit first. Sine 0. Alright, so on the unit circle. Sine represent the y value and cos represent the x value. Yeah, so sine zero starts here. So at this point, the sine that the y value is zero, but the cos value is one. All right, so. Sine pi over 4. Well, pi over 4, we can just look at the graph. Pi over 4 is somewhere there. All right. And let me get the y value from decimals. Wait, actually, we can work it out, right? We can work it out 
you know, using our triangles. So pi over 4 is 45 degrees. A 45 degree is the 1, 1 root 2. So 45, 45. Right? And sine is opposite of adjacent. Well, so opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 1 over root 2. What about cos? It's 1 over root 2 as well. Right? So we get... Um, 2 over root 2. Right, so it's 2 over, two over root 2 minus 1. Alright, let's plug it into the calculator. Let's see what we get. So, minus 1. Um, no, let's work it out. Um, I don't, I don't want nasty this decimal numbers. Uh, let's work it out. If, hope we can. So that's equal to root 2 over root 2. Alright, that's 1. So it's just 2 minus root 2 over root 2. Alright, let's just keep it as that. <laughs> this is the area. <laughs> let's keep it like that. I mean, if you want to make any decimals, you could. I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay? Yeah, keep it like that. Alright, let's find out section 2. Section 2 looks like the top function would be our sine function, and the bottom function would be a cos function. And it's from pi over 4 to pi, right? So, let's go. So, it would be pi over 4 to pi. Sine x minus cos x. In the go respect to x. That would equal to... Uh, sine x minus cos x. Right, integrate that. Integrate sine, you get negative cos x. Integrate cos, you get sine x positive. So positive. So negative positive is negative. Just in case you didn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, and let's start the number in. Number in. So negative cos pi minus sine pi minus negative cos pi over 4 minus sine pi over 4 right now we uh we use back the unit circle again so pi is over here right so remember our 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 cos represent the x values the x value here would be so this is the coordinate of that point here. So it'll be negative one. So it'll be negative, negative one, right? Minus sine. The sine will still be zero. Because the y value is still zero in this case. Alright, minus. Alright, cos cos pi over four. We already found out what it, what it was before. It was one over root two, right? So it's negative one over root two. Minus one over root two again. Right? So this with negative negative becomes positive, which is one minus negative um, two over root two now. Right? Negative negative becomes a positive. So it's one plus uh two root two. So same as before. Let's keep it as a nice whole exact value. So it would become root two plus two over root two. All right, and let's work out the total area. So total area is equal to, remember, section 1 plus a section 2. So section 1 is that. So 2 minus root 2 plus root 2 plus 2. All right, just like that. All right, so since it's the same base, we can just work it out. So negative root 2 plus root 2 is gone, gone. And 2 plus 2 is just 4. So it's 4 over root 2. This is the total area. All right. See, if you keep it nice and, you know, exact value, you know, at the end, you might get a nicer number. So 4 over root 2. All right. So that's question B done. All right. Let's go to question C. All right. Question C. So I plotted the graph on decimals and 
I also put the x uh, the domain in as a two two um two lines, so I know exactly what I want. So this area and this area, right? Oops, I covered up the point. Okay. So, session one, session two. Session one, session two. All right, let's go section one. So session one is from negative one to zero, yeah? All right, which one's on the top? I believe this, this one will be on top. So the y minus one, so this one, okay. So x minus one square. And then minus, top minus bottom, top minus bottom. And the bottom one will be the other one, obviously. Yep. And the x. Right? Integrate with respect to x. Alright. Okay. So, so it's just equal to x minus 1 squared minus x plus 1. Oh, pretty much. You get that. Alright, now we can... Um, actually integrated uh, with the method that reversing the, the chain rule by integrating reversing the chain rule so so how we integrate this is this so we write what I saw inside the brackets we increase the power by one we divide by the new power right and then multiply by the derivative the inside the bracket which would be one that's it that's how you um, integrate um, something like that I mean, you can always expand the the difference, um, you know, with the binomial expansion, but now nah, that's just too troublesome. <laughs> okay, and minus, same thing. Remember, power increased by one divided by the new power, multiply, uh, and then the denominator multiply or you divide it again um, by the derivative of the inside, which is one again. All right, so it's from negative one to zero. Okay, so let's set the numbers in. So zero minus one cube over three minus zero plus one cube over three. Right, and then minus negative one minus one um, cube over three minus negative one plus one cube over three all right so the first one zero minus one will be negative one negative one cube will still be negative one so it's negative one over three minus uh zero plus one is one one cube is one plus three one over three all right minus negative one minus negative one would be negative two a negative two cube would still be a negative value would be negative eight over three and then uh, minus negative one plus one would be zero and zero cube would be zero and zero over three would be zero so this one is gone okay so here it becomes two lots of negative three so negative one over three so negative two over three all right, minus negative eight over three. Minus minus become a positive, right? So negative two over three plus eight over three. Give you, finally, we get negative, uh, so positive six over three, which is two. Answer for section one. Yeah? All right, let's go section two now. We can calculate it, but it looks like it is a perfect mirror image to me. So I'm going to guess it's going to be two. Be on the other side as well. So, you know, just to prove I'm right, I'm going to do it as well. All right. So integrate. Now this time is from zero to one, right? It's from zero to one, top minus bar, bottom. Integrate with respect to x. So that's equal to 
Now top is now this time the top is the 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 bottom um what used to be the bottom before. So this is this one. So that becomes the top function on the section two. All right, so that will be x plus one square minus x minus one square integrates with x. All right, the integral is there. I'm not going to do anything about it. So it's going to be the same integral as before minus like that. Yeah, so to what? Just the same as before. Same as last section, last section one. All right, so let's sum in the numbers. So 1 plus 1 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 1 minus 1 to the power of 3 over 3. And then minus um, 0 plus 1 to the power of 3 over 3 minus um, negative 1. Right? So it's because... Yeah, so 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Over 3 over 3. Alright, 1 over 1, 1 plus 1 over 3 is... Um, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So 8 over 3. And this bit is 0, right? Because this is 0. And that's gone. Alright, minus... So that is 0 plus 1 is 1 over 3. Uh, 1, 1 cube is 3, is 1 over 3. Minus... Negative 1 cube is still negative. All right, so minus minus 1 over 3. And so that just become a positive. I'm just going to write it as a positive. All right, so that would be a over 3 minus 2 lots of 1 over 3. It becomes 2 over 3. And now that is 6 over 3 and 2. Voila! Section 2 area. I mean, it's easy. I'm just proving it. It is all right. It's easy. You can see it's, it's the mirror image. So total area equal to two plus two equal to four. There you go. That's the que that's the answer for question C. All right, for question C, let's go on to question D. All right, question D. So our function and the domains from zero x zero between zero and three on the x-axis. So I've already labeled it, so it would be this. Alright, and let me just clear it out for the coordinates. And then these. This area. Well, I just didn't. No, I didn't. Cut, I didn't cut the graph until down there. So, you, but you know, it's within those there, within within that domain on the x-axis. On the x-axis. All right. So we've got two section, section one, and section two. All right. Let's go section one first. Integrate. Um. So it's from zero to two. I see. From zero to two, and then which one's on the top? Looks like the this one's on the top. At this section, this one's at the top. So top minus bottom. Is equal to. The top function is 6 minus 2x squared. Minus the bottom function. Um, x cubed minus 5x. Integral with respect to x. Right. And then. Goes 0, 2, 6 minus 2x squared minus x cubed plus 5x in the integrate with respect to x. All right, let's f work out something. So, no, nothing we can work out actually. We can start integrating here. All right, nothing with no, no like terms here. All right, so let's integrate. 6 becomes 6x minus 2x cubed on 3. All right, and minus x to the power of 4 on 4 plus 5x squared on 2 from 0 to 2. All right, can I really not do the 0 one? Because I know, I'm not going to do the 0 one, because huh? I know they're going to be 0. So I'm just going to do the 2. 
Come on, by now you know it because they're all multiply and dividing the x. So they get zeros. Oh, they're not they're not dividing the x. They're not they're all multiplying the x. Uh, so two times two cube over three minus two to the power of four over four plus two to the power of five times two to the power of two over two. All right, I'm not gonna do the I'm not gonna do the last bit because I know it would be zero. All right, so this would be twelve. All right, two times two to the power of three is two to the power of four, which is sixteen. Sixteen over three, and two to the power of four is six. It's also sixteen. Over four plus um. Uh, this is 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20 over 2. Well, 20 over 2 is just 10. Alright, we can... So we go 12 plus 10 first. So with 22. Okay, so minus these two. Alright. Let's find the common, the lowest common denominator. It will be twelve. So it'll be twenty-two times twelve over one times twelve minus sixteen times four over three times four minus sixteen times three over three times. Oh, sorry, four times three. Yeah, get them all into the same denominator. So twenty-two times twelve is two hundred sixty-four on 12 minus so 4 times 16 would be uh, 64 over 12 minus that would be 48 over 12 all right <laughs> let's just do it slowly right we use mistake and that will give us 152 over 12. Can we simplify that uh, further down? Is it divided, is it, can we divide it by 3? No. Okay, so 152 on top of 12. Oh, it can be simplified down to 12 and 2 third. Yeah. And that's your section A answer. Section 1 area. All right, let's go to section two. Because don't forget, there's two sections. All right, so section two is from two to three. Top minus bottom. Integrate with respect of x is equal to. So which one's on the top right now? So it looks like, ah, that one's on the top. This one is on top. All right, so that one's on top as well. So... Yep, so it'll be the x, x cubed minus 5x minus whatever the other function was, uh, 6 minus 2x squared. And the integral of circuit x, that give us 2, 3, um, x cubed minus 5x minus 6 plus 2x squared. All right. And then let's integrate it since that's the no like term. And the integral will be the same. So it will be x to the power of 4 over 4 minus x squared over 2 minus 6x plus 2x cubed over 3 from 2 to 3. All right, now this is a bit tedious, but we have to calculate the 2 bit because there's no zero in there. Okay, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to use a calculator to calculate everything, okay? <laughs> I'm lazy. Um, uh, okay, so we'll be, we're at 3. So 3 to the power of 4 over 4 minus 5 times 3 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 6 times 3 and plus 2 times 3 to the power of 3 over 2, uh, over 3. And then or and then minus two to the power of four over four and then minus five multiplied by two to the power of two over two and then minus um 
6 times 2. And the last bit is plus 2. Um, what about by x? Uh, sorry. 2 to the power of 3 over 3. Alright, let's use a calculator. All right? Remember when you use a calculator, um, brackets your powers. All right? Brackets all those things. Make sure you get it right. Do it one by one, you know? So I will do um, 3 to the power of 4. Divided by, and then get the answer first, divided by 4, right? And then use that minus bracket 5 times bracket 3 to the power of 4, or 2 to the power of 2, over 2. All right, and then just minus 3 times 6 is 18, so minus 18. Right, and then plus bracket 2 times 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3. So I get negative 2 one, third, one quarter minus uh, whatever we'll get in there. So let's do the calculation again. So 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus bracket 5 times 2 to the power of 2. Yeah. Then divided by 2. Minus 6 times 2, which is minus 12. Plus 2 times 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3. So I get negative 12 and 2 third. Right, and then minus and minus is just plus so it'd be negative two all right um i'm going to write this as a fraction of a four so two times four is eight so it's going to be um eight plus one is nine so it's going to be negative nine over four minus or oh, plus and let's write this as a fraction of a, a three as well so if, um, 3 times 12 is 36. 36 plus 2 is 38. Plus 38 over 3. Just write them as in proper fraction. And then we do the trick, right? Times 3, times 3, plus 38 times 4. 3 times 4. We get negative 27 over 12. Plus is 4, 8 is 32. 4... Uh, 3, 4 is 12, 152 over uh, 12. Uh, that's a 4, uh, that's not a 9. <laughs> I confused myself there just for, for just a second. Uh, so negative 27 plus 152 will give you... Uh, don't use your calculator. How dare you use your calculator. Uh, 5, 2, 1. Yes, 125 over 12. All right, 125 over 12, and that is the same as 220 out, so it's 10 and 5 over 12. Right, that's it. This is your section 2 area. All right, so the total area is equal to, so it's our section 1 answer. Uh, 12 and 2 third. 12 and 2 third plus 10 and 5 over 12. Okay, now I'm going to use the calculator for this one. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to try here. Um. Hmm. 
Just humming, humming, and calculating, punching my way through. So I get twenty-three and one over twelve, and that is your final answer for the area. Whew! But this video is thirty-five already. I'm gonna make a part two of this. I'm gonna <laughs> do the next four question in uh, in the second part. All right? I didn't expect. Look, I mean, this is this is practice you know you're practicing your finding areas finding which is on top which is on the bottom find uh practicing subbing in numbers into the the eggs so it's, this is just practicing all right so it's gonna be you know it could be dull and stuff but hey my hopefully my thoughts can entertain you for all this 35 or 36 minutes all right so i'm gonna make a second videos um for this for for, for whatever is left so it did up to d right so for for the four um for and for another for another four questions later on i'm going to make a different videos Whew, getting tired all right let's go into commercial break and i'll see you when i see you again no i mean we'll come back with the part two of the question Ugh, well, for, for, for the, what forgot what's the question question ah oh. Question eight, we'll come back later on for the other four question in question eight.